Hi folks, this is Andy and welcome to my second step-by-step -step Blender tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take the default cube and turn it into a cartoon head using sculpting methods. And this is a really cool way that it actually is going to change the way I think it's going to change the future of modeling. So go ahead and go into edit mode on your default cube and subdivide it. And before you do anything else, go over here. If you can't see the tool shelf, just press T and that'll bring that up. And change the number of cuts to 2. And the smoothness, I want you to drag that all the way up and it'll make sort of a round shape, sort of like a cartoon head. And then we're going to do a couple of extrusions here on the faces. I'm going to extrude the center face and make a kind of a nose area to work with. And I'm going to extrude, um, actually I'm going to make a couple of uh, loop cuts. That's control R. And that'll make a cut the whole way around. Make two loop cuts on the side here. And then we'll extrude these two faces inwards to make kind of the uh, eye socket area. And down here, I'll do one more loop cut towards the bottom here to make an area to extrude inwards for the mouth area. And right below it will extrude the chin outwards a little bit. We've already got a face shape here. I'll go ahead and extrude the neck as well. And then some very, very, very simple ears. And that's going to be the base mesh that we're going to work with. So I'll tab out of edit mode. And now I'm going to add some resolution to this. I'm going to take them. Well, first I'm going to change the shading to smooth. And then I'm going to go to the wrench and add a modifier multi resolution. And over here where it says subdivide, click that twice. As you can see, this already looks remarkably better. And now we can go into sculpt mode and play with it a little bit. Just go down here and change to sculpt mode. And by default, you're given um, a brush, which is the draw brush to work with. Um, the draw brush is great for drawing onto the mesh. And I'll just try and zoom in here and move down. And I'll show you, you can actually draw some lips on your character just by clicking and dragging around the lips the area where the lips would be and it's it's actually remarkably simple and I'm actually not adding that much so I'm going to increase the radius a little bit as you can see now it's affecting it more it's adding more of a lip area and then down here I'll add a bottom lip just above the chin that looks pretty good to me cartoony and another great thing for faces is you can add uh, symmetry down here very simply just by dragging down and mirroring on the x-axis so that if you make any changes um, and I'll actually change to subtract for this like say you want to make these eye sockets a little bigger now it'll affect both sides of the mesh so I click on it and make the eye sockets a little larger 
and then I'll go ahead and go up here change it back to add and zoom in and do the eyebrows I'll make the radius a little bit lower you can change the radius with the scroll wheel on your mouse I just right now I'm using a touchpad on my laptop and it still kind of amazes me how good I can make this look just with playing with the touchpad on my laptop. So it's okay, but it's really not jutting out enough, so I'm going to add some strength. And then I'll make the detail, it'll add more detail. As you can see, I'm getting more of an eyebrow look, but it's still not that good. And I think it's because I don't have enough polygons. And that's why we added this multi-res modifier, because I can subdivide it again, and as you can see, now I've got more polygons to work with, I can, I can do more with the eyebrows. You don't want to subdivide it really too many times, just enough that it looks good to you. And this really looks good. I have these really kind of cartoonish eyebrows. And then I just want to put a very basic hole in the ear, just basic ears. And since I have symmetry on, this will do both ears. Just sort of subtract and dig into there to make the ear hole. Start to make it very, very simple. Now, there are some other tools in here. I'm only going to show you one other one in this tutorial, but uh, if you click here... You can see you have a whole bunch of different options. Right now I'm going to show you the F smooth here. And that just sort of smooths out the areas that you were working on so that I can make it look a little less choppy and a little more cartoony. Just smooth down a little bit. And really I think I have just about everything I need on this character. Um, the nose might be a little oversized. Um, I could maybe smooth that out a little bit. I'll go back to um, what I was on here was F. I was actually on F brush and just click subtract. Make that radius a little bit smaller. Like I said, you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse. I just don't happen to have a mouse right now about there's about a good area for a nostril and I'll just click a few times draw around in a circle until I've got nostrils and since I have symmetry on it put a nostril on each side um, then if I'm not if I'm not happy with this shape I can of course use the subtract on a much larger radius to reshape the head Sort of subtract up here until the head's got like a little bit better of a shape to it. It's a little lumpy, but it's kind of cool. I, I kind of actually like that effect. And you always want to sort of orbit around in, in 3D view mode and make sure you like the effect. I actually think I took too much out of the back of the neck there, so I'm going to go back to add and fill that in a little bit and the great thing is with symmetry on I don't have to go too far but I can only worry about the one side and it'll play with both sides so I've got a bit of a mess over here now in the bottom it doesn't flow very well it almost looks like he has hair on the back um, so I'm actually I'm gonna subtract a little more there I still get that sort of indented look which I'm really not looking for so I'm gonna go back to the smooth brush I'm gonna turn the radius all the way up here I'm gonna smooth the whole back of the head 
and it'll smooth out the detail on that so that it's still there but it's just not as obvious and that's really what I wanted I didn't want to take it away completely I just don't want it to be as jutting that's a pretty good shape that's what I was looking for and I've done this all in less than 15 minutes whereas this would have taken me an extraordinary amount of time to do uh, any other way than sculpt mode and uh, if I just go back to object mode and I apply this modifier I've got a totally sculpted head that I can now start adding eyes to and you know teeth in the mouth area and I can actually start to animate this face so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and my next tutorial should actually have something about the shape keys so that I can show you how to animate this head that we made here so have a great day and come back soon I'll see you soon